announcing the upcoming release of part 2 of Muhaddith Org's response to Geared Wilder's video Fitna. Note from Muhaddith Org's team, because the style of this announcement is different from our normal style, not all our members encouraged releasing it. But they eventually had to concede to the freedom of expression of other members of the team. Viewing that this announcement does not contradict the noble Islamic standards and contains neither the lies nor the insults that are so common elsewhere. So here it is. Subtitled for the hearing impaired who doesn't share my accent. Number three. That's him. Assalamu alaikum. This is Geert Wilder speaking. As most of you know, I already made an anti Islamic video, Fitna. This Arabic title is so appropriate since it precisely describes my enticement of viewers toward oppression of Muslims, Fitna. Then a response from Muhadith Org on YouTube showed how I disfigured verses from the Quran to make my viewers perceive Islam as a violent religion which orders indiscriminate killing of innocent people. I hear they are coming with part two very soon, where they will show you much more. They say they found so many disfigurations that the response might need a total of three or even four parts. As a preview of the upcoming part 2 of their response, I will first display a clip from my video that they analyzed in that upcoming part. This clip shows the well-known Muslim scholar al Qani. This clip was taken from a series about the life of our Prophet. May God's mercy be upon him where Al-Qarani, a renowned Saudi scholar, described how sacrifices in response to severe persecution are the true jihad. We will see now how Wilders reverses it to make it falsely seem as inciting toward indiscriminate aggression against all non-Muslims. In fact, Al-Qarani, along with all respected Muslim scholars, openly renounce and reject terrorism and aggression against civilians in no uncertain terms. Due to the large number of items that they will be debunking, Muhadith Org will be presenting only a summary of the following analysis. So please pay close attention. I was able to manipulate that clip in four different ways, even though it was so short. Shouldn't I be proud of my inventiveness? Here is my first manipulation. In this clip, I totally omitted the translation of the opening words of al Karni, which were, this is a true jihad against the occupier. This omission produces four marvelous results. One, it conceals the fact that al Qarni is speaking about the occupier. Two, it therefore misleads people to make them think al Qarni is inciting against all non-Muslims. Three, it therefore beautifully changes the context of resisting and makes it encouraging aggression. Four, by omitting this is the true jihad, my disfiguration beautifully hides the fact that al Qarani was expressing the view of all qualified Muslim scholars concerning what is considered as true jihad and what is false, such as attacking civilians. It plays to my favor that similar words from multitudes of such renowned Muslim scholars who are unequivocally rejecting terrorism in their daily numerous televised lectures long before September 11 are never fairly quoted in Western media, the latter being controlled by anti-Islamic influences. As a result, I was able to disfigure 
that he was inciting to cut the throats of every non-Muslim, which I further emphasized by following his words with the clip of the prisoner being killed. Ha <laughs> ha. Here is my second manipulation. Four times in that clip, al karani used the word yukaddam, which means to provide. Yukaddam buyut, to provide houses. Yukaddam shabab, to provide young men. Yukaddam darb rikab, to provide slits roads, and so on. But I do not like that. It only conveyed the meaning that he wanted to convey, which is offering themselves while resisting the occupier. It did not convey the meaning that I wanted to convey, which is sacrificing other young men, other houses, etc. So, I falsely translated it in the subtitles to sacrifice, in order to falsely make it seem that he was speaking about sacrificing other young men, other houses, other throats, etc. Then I enforced my falsification by showing the prisoner being killed immediately after showing al karanis verse, which marvelously compounded the effect that I wanted, which was Misleading the viewers that al karani was inciting to cut throats of non-Muslims. How about that? Ha ha ha. As for my third manipulation, al karani said at the end of his sentence, This is the path to victory and martyrdom. Shahada. But since shahada means martyrdom, I had to omit it. Otherwise, it would become obvious that he is speaking about his own people becoming martyrs by the occupier, being killed and sacrificed. And I absolutely do not want that understanding whatsoever. This is simple and consistent, since, as I already mentioned, I also omit from the beginning the word mortal, the occupier. As for my fourth manipulation, it is just marvelous. Notice how at the very beginning of my video, I included the clear soundtrack of a Quranic recitation where the Imam, in order to catch his breath, repeated the words to spread terror. In that instance, I wanted to let the viewer hear the repetition clearly in order to mislead him, that the Quran itself repeats it. Because it helps me to add a somber image of terror and violence. So, I did not place any background music whatsoever. Simple. Now, when al karani was speaking, I wanted to make it as difficult as possible to understand every word he was saying. So, I just added loud, somber background music and presto, mission accomplished. In conclusion, isn't this all déjà vu? Reminding you of what I beautifully did with several Quranic ayahs, cut from the beginning, cut from the end, and mistranslate in between. By the way, you see now how legitimate my attitude is. The fact that I hate Islam, not Muslims. Here is the Islam that I hate, my disfiguration of it. Now, of course, I cannot be accused of insulting the intelligence of my viewers, because my viewers are only two types. Muslim haters such as me and their intelligence would not get insulted. On the contrary, they are applauding my work, because our common goal is not the truth. It is just to spread hatred against Islam. The other type of viewers consists of everybody else, and they do not concern me, unless my tricks work on them. Well then, they become Muslim haters, and my movie would have succeeded with them. Coming soon to a computer near you. Part 2 of Mohadith Org's response to Fitna. Final Notes
Of course, the real speaker was not Geert himself. This was just an animated video intended for humor and not to disfigure any person or falsely put words into his mouth. As for Al Qarani, not only is he one of the most outspoken Muslim scholars against any type of violence against civilians, furthermore, only a short period of time before the release of Fitna, he wrote in a public letter about the merits of Western society, advising Muslims not to ignore these merits. Gert Wilder's behavior against such scholars may either be intentionally evil or utterly irresponsible. Yet the numerous disfigurations in such a short clip make it impossible to consider that he acted out of candid ignorance, misunderstanding, or even mere irresponsibility. Such disfigurations point to an intentional, deliberate goal. The viewer is left to make his own decision.